If you've spent longer than five minutes on Instagram recently, you have definitely come across a faceless motivational page. They are extremely popular right now, and rightfully so. One of the best online businesses that you can start. But to create a successful motivational page in such a competitive niche, you need to select the right sub niche. So today I'm bringing you 17 motivational sub niches. Here is how this video is going to work. So I'm going to show you an example page for each sub niche, and then I'm going to rate each page out of 10. So one to 10 for the following four things. Number one, how easy it is to create content for that page. Number two, how I can help you with that page. Number three, how beginner friendly it is. And number four, but not least, how much money potential or monetization potential it has. Given you all the insight you need to make the right decision. If you want to be successful, this is the video for you. My name is Alex. Let's grow. Motivational single graphic quotes. And here we have a philosophical page. So this is philosophical outlaws. And essentially their page is just philosophical quotes from, you know, potentially famous people on a very simple color palette, you know, and this is a really, really interesting one. You know, if you're interested in theology, etc., they've obviously done really well over 500,000 followers in terms of, you know, how beginner friendly it is. I would say this is up there with probably like nine out of 10. And in terms of using AI, I would say again, nine out of 10, maybe eight, nine out of 10, as you can use ChatGBT to get loads of these quotes. And to actually create the content, I would say that this is probably one of the closest ones to being 10 out of 10. I'd say this is probably a 9.5 out of 10. And in terms of monetization, I would say for this one, it's slightly less. I'd say probably around a five out of 10, you know, sometimes if it's really easy, the monetization will be slightly harder. But I think, you know, with this page, if they really did concentrate on the branding and building something around that, they could do physical products, wallpapers. There's a few different options, build a newsletter, etc. So this is, if you're a beginner, a great one to jump into. Motivational quotes, single graphics. The next one is Twitter quotes videos. So this one is essentially exactly how the name says, but essentially it's videos with a Twitter overlay over it. So for example, you've got, you know, X overlay. So it looks like someone's tweeted something and they've put it over a video. And here we have masculine self, which is around 50,470 posts. So they're doing pretty good. And as you can see, you know, they literally just have videos random videos with a quote on top of it. So, you know, I would say for this one in terms of, you know, creating the content, this is probably an 8.5 out of 10. You know, you can literally do all of this on Canva. And in terms of using AI, I'd say again, this is an 8.5 as you can probably get a loads of these quotes from other pages or you can just simply go on ChatGPT and get some of these, you know, kind of quotes. So this is a really good one. And in terms of, you know, how beginner friendly it is, again, I would say this is probably an eight out of 10, obviously slightly harder than, you know, simple single graphics, but I would still say it's definitely around the eight mark as, you know, if you do want to create videos for your content, this is probably one of the easiest to do so. In terms of monetization, I would say this is, this does have good potential in terms of how easy it is and, you know, the monetization. I would say this one is probably around a 7 out of 10, you know, because you can get a lot of reach. And if you're promoting the right products, etc., you know, you can easily do some motivational ebooks and wallpapers, products, you know, there's a lot you can do here. Promotions because you've opened up the doors with the videos. So masculine self and Twitter quote videos, a great sub niche. Epic AI images into videos. And here we have Greater You, which used to be known as Goated You. Let's see one of their videos. I've actually made a video on my page, this one here, which shows you how to make similar videos. Obviously their videos are really good. Now this niche is slightly harder as a beginner. So as a beginner to really kind of compete at this level, 
you're going to have to learn how to use CapCut, Mid Journey, etc. So I would say the kind of point for this one is about five out of 10 for beginners. I would say in terms of using AI, this one is really AI heavy and it's probably an 8.5, nine out of 10. In terms of creating the content, you know, this is slightly harder, I'd say. So again, I'd say this is probably like a four, five out of 10 in terms of how easy it is. You know, to really get to this level, it's not easy. Obviously they do do single graphics, but the main majority of their reach, I'm sure is coming from their videos. In terms of monetization, I would say this is probably one of the big ones, eight, nine out of 10. You know, greater you are doing content creation services and I'm sure they're charging thousands for that. And they've got a stand store with some other digital assets. So with these types of brands, you know, that, are, that have really good videos and that have put a lot of effort into them, obviously you're going to be able to monetize them better. So this is definitely an eight, nine out in that aspect. If you do have the time, you have skills in editing and you want to be creative, then this is a great sub niche to get into. You know, they obviously focus on the Spartan aspects of things, but you know, you could do this for anything, superheroes, for animals, you know, buildings even you could do anything you know you just need to really kind of bring your imagination to life but here we have greater you if you're interested in me making a video about one of these sub niches whether it's going into it more or how to create that style of content let me know in the comment section and i can get planning the next one is motivational nature videos and here we have mind grade which you've probably come across over 400,000 followers and essentially their videos are, you know, super aesthetic in terms of nature. You know, their grid looks really good. So as you can see, it's like this style of video, most likely just simply using stock videos or high quality videos from somewhere and using CapCut. And I'm sure you've probably seen this guy before. Now, in terms of, you know, how beginner friendly it is, I would say this one is probably like a 6.5 out of 10 slightly easier to edit than other kind of videos but still not that easy so probably around a six actually in terms of you know using ai you know you're probably using ai for the voice and for the kind of the text on the video so i would say again six out of ten as it's not going to help you too much but it will get the job done for that stuff and in terms of creating the content yes i mean and yeah in terms of creating the content again i would say around six out of ten in terms of monetization, I would say this one is probably like a 6.5, 7 out of 10. I think, you know, as you can see, they're doing, you know, this is definitely some uh, promotional stuff there. But because the grid is so super aesthetic, when they do post something, it's going to stand out like a sore thumb. In terms of if I was to brand this, I would probably be doing newsletters, wallpapers, etc. I think they're selling a course. I don't personally think that for this page, that's the best kind of way to monetize a page. You know, people often go wrong with this as they don't understand who their audience is. Their audience are not people that want to grow Instagram accounts. Their audience are people that like nature and motivational based content. So you you need to focus on that audience, you know, if you really want to monetize it, not sell them Instagram related stuff. So a really good niche to get into. I wouldn't say it's like the best one. It's a really solid one to get into. So nature motivational videos. So the next one is the Wi-Fi niche. You've most likely seen a Wi-Fi page before, you know, and essentially these are like heavily money focused videos, you know, usually appealing to more sort of teenagers, younger audience, you know, really showing Lamborghinis, girls, stuff like that in their videos. And it's a very popular niche to get into. In terms of, you know, how beginner friendly it is, etc., I would say it is pretty good. It's a pretty good in terms of that. So I would say it's probably like a 6.5 in terms of that. In terms of creating the content, I would say it's probably because you need to source the clips, etc. Maybe a 6.5 as well. On my Discord, if you go to it, I do have 20,000 luxury videos similar to these that I give away for free. You simply just need to join Discord and go to the free resources. In terms of AI, you know, it's similar to other videos where they're using the voice and kind of the text. So I'd say again, it's probably at 7, 7.5 for that. And in terms of monetization, you know, obviously these the content is very finance based you know making money etc a lot of these pages are selling kind of you know instagram related uh, courses and stuff like that 
Again, in my personal opinion, I don't think that's the best way to monetize a page like this. I think going for a more universal approach in terms of selling, you know, money making methods that could be, you know, dropshipping, affiliate marketing, a bunch of different ones, you know, for a lower price could be a good way to kind of make money with this. Obviously, promos are good with this. I think, yeah, and in term and in terms of like, you know, the name putting Wi-Fi, I think once you put your name as Wi-Fi something, you kind of remove a bit of your branding so it makes it difficult to do ever do physical products ever have your own store ever have anything so you know don't kind of fall for that in my opinion you know you can easily get the same results without putting wi-fi and i don't think wi-fi necessarily means something that is going to transform your page so in terms of monetization i would say this is probably a 7 or 7.5 out of 10 as because the content is money based and if you are smart you can make money with this niche but i would say 80 percent of people in this niche are doing it wrong i would definitely reevaluate how you're going to make money with this niche but yeah it's definitely a great niche to get into take on board what i've said the next one is one of the most popular ones and that's podcasts here we have success goats and i actually really really like this page you know a lot of podcast pages look all the same but you know success goat introduced a kind of new style where they put cover photos of the person speaking in black and white. And I think it looks really, really professional. They obviously do sometimes put, you know, kind of just little graphics, but essentially this is how they run their page, you know, and they do the black and white kind of podcasts. Now, in terms of doing this as a beginner, I wouldn't say it's the most difficult. I would say probably like five, six out of 10. And in terms of using AI, you can use AI to get snippets from YouTube of podcasts. So that could be again around a six, seven out of 10 in terms of using AI. And then obviously, you know, in terms of content creation, they're using kind of thumbnails, etc. So you're going to have to spend some time on that. So I'd say again, it's probably about five out of 10. In terms of monetization though, a lot of pages, as you will see in this video, they're not monetizing in the best way in my opinion, but success go is actually doing something really, really good. So as you can see, you know, their bio is super, super clean. And if we go onto their website, they're giving away a wristband for free, and they're also selling some wristband stuff. So it's also more wristbands. And on their actual bio, it says clothing brand, etc. And in my opinion, this is one of the best ways to monetize. They are monetizing through understanding their audience. Their audience want to be motivated, success, etc. So how do you encapsulate that into a product? You know, wristbands, clothing, they are doing it the right way. And I'm really, really impressed with what they've done. And I really hope that they do well. So if you guys are seeing this, you know, you need to understand that you are building a brand. You're building a business. You're not just building something so you can sell a course for $10. You can do a lot more. Success go podcast niche, black and white, make it your own brand. One of my favorite pages out there right now. Okay, so the next one is AI quotes. Now here we have a page called Motivation Assassin. And essentially, you know, it's how the name says it. It's essentially AI based kind of single graphics, motivational based. And as you can see, you know, some of their content looks really, really good. Motivational, click bait. I really like these styles of pages, you know. Obviously they're using AI heavily so in terms of using ai this is like an eight nine even essentially 10 out of 10 as most aspects are going to be covered by ai apart from you know the final details of adding everything together but eventually that might even be you know ai you know in terms of beginner friendly i would say once you understand how to use ai this could be really kind of easy so seven seven point five in terms of you know cr creating the content I say eight out of 10. Again, it just comes down to your understanding of AI. But once you understand how to use mid journey Canva, this is not going to be too hard. So I would say definitely eight out of 10 in terms of content creation. In terms of, you know, monetization, again, they're selling, you know, theme page based stuff or kind of course for Instagram. I personally don't think that that's the best strategy. Again, they're not understanding who their audience is understand what your audience wants so you know they want motivation they like these epic quotes how can i capitalize on that 
I would say in terms of monetization, because it doesn't have videos, it will be slightly lower. So I'd say it's about a seven out of 10, but still in terms of how easy everything can be to create, this can be a really, really good niche to get into. You know, fun as well in terms of creativity. Yeah, so AI images, a great AI quote, a great one to get into, as you can see, really cool image there. Next up is the swipes or self-development niche. Now here we can see wealth. Now wealth is obviously one of the most popular, biggest pages in the motivational niche, you know, 8.7 million followers. Now in terms of their content, they post a variety of stuff. So they have swipes, single pictures, reels everything the difference is is that everything is kind of branded in their colors so even when they post a reel they've kind of put their you know you know watermark and their branding on it so these pages are really really good because you can just kind of attack everything from all fronts okay so in terms of beginner friendly i would say this is probably a 5.5 just because of how much branding there is you know you need to get the name right you need to kind of play around with loads of different styles, be on top of viral content. And in terms of, you know, using AI, I would say you can use AI for a bit of it. So around six out of 10. In terms of content creation, I'd say five out of 10, just because of how much different aspects you need to be covering and, you know, the time it could potentially take to even research and put everything together. But in terms of monetization, I would say probably this is one of the best in terms of monetization, not wealth. Obviously, they're making loads. I think they charge like 7,000 for a post. But in terms of, you know, monetization, you can kind of really go potentially on all fronts. So I would say this is probably a 8.5, 9 out of 10 in terms of monetization. You know, there's just so much potential in terms of the content that you're delivering, you know, even on your stories, etc. So you can be promoting a bunch of different things. So this is a great niche but it is going to take time and effort. So you need to weigh that up. Okay, so the next one is AI slash anime hybrid. So here we have paths of meaning. Now, essentially they post a mixture of content. So swipes, reels, single graphics, but it's all based on AI quotes or anime based motivations. So as you can see on their page, they've got a bunch of different, you know, style of content. You know, you can easily create this one right here. For example, using AI, Canva, and obviously they get, you know, anime clips and, you know, make them motivational. So this is a really good niche if you have interest in using AI and also anime. And as you can see, they've done really well. 700,000 followers, 1.8K posts. And in terms of, you know, beginner friendly, I say it's like a 5.5 as there's a few different, you know, styles that you kind of need to do research in, understand, etc. In terms of content creation, I'd say similar 5.5 just for, you know, kind of you need to get content. And in terms of, you know, how AI based it can be, I'd say it's probably about a seven as if you use software or AI to kind of get your YouTube anime clips, you know, it could help you out a lot. In terms of monetization, this is a really good one to monetize. I don't think they're monetizing it too much at the moment, which is perfectly fine. You know, they're building something, but you know, the way they've built their brand passive, meaning, you know, unique style of content, there's a lot of potential here. You know, they can potentially go to clothes, you know, products, definitely, you know, ebooks, wallpapers. There's a lot of different options for them, especially with a name like paths of meaning, you know, they've really built something good. I'd say this is probably an eight, potentially even 8.5 out of 10 for monetization. Obviously, it's slightly harder to kind of get into, but if you have interest in this kind of sub niche, I would recommend jumping into as I still don't think it's too competitive right now. The next one is anime motivation. Now here we have Vasco.974 and essentially they have 37 posts and 191,000 followers. Now essentially they literally just post anime based content, but it's motivational. Now in terms of what they've done, they've actually kind of, you know, just at the start had a lot of pictures kind of just portraying a message that they want to do. As a beginner, I would say this is a kind of like six out of 10. You need to have an interest in anime. You need to be able to kind of use AI and put videos together. I would say in terms of using AI, it's potentially a six, seven out of 10 as a lot of these images, once you understand the prompts that's being used to create this, 
you can create loads of these images using, for example, mid journey. So, and in terms of even editing these reels, you can use like something to get your YouTube anime, you know, cut it up into key moments. So this is probably a seven, 7.5 in terms of using AI. And in terms of, you know, content creation, I would say it's about a 5.5, just because it's a few different elements that you need to understand at the start. But it's a really good niche to get into. I still think it's not too competitive. And a good thing about it is you can even create your own kind of character using mid journey. And from there, the monetization can really be crazy because let's say you want to do physical products or clothing and you've kind of built this character on this page, you can put that character on your clothing. You've created that character yourself. So there's a lot of potential. You can put it on wallpapers, you can put it on you know, phone cases. So I would say in terms of monetization, this is around a 7.5, could be even more if you're really smart with the, with the naming, etc. But this is a great niche to get into, anime motivation. Now, the next one is an interesting one as this is actually a faceless personal motivational page. Now, this is the only one that is kind of non-theme page, but essentially I still think it kind of falls in that category. So here we have alex.vizir, and essentially, he basically posts kind of the same, you know, faceless video. He kind of just shows his body in a really kind of, you know, nice background, dark, but then just puts a motivational voice, AI based on top of it. And as you can see, like thumbnails, etc., are kind of really simple. He's obviously shown that it's not too difficult to actually kind of start this. So this is a faceless motivational page but he's still using kind of his own personal, you know, videos. So if you are interested in doing this, this is a great, great niche to get into. I'm sure you see, you've seen other pages that have millions of followers or a few hundred thousand. And, you know, this is something that could be, you know, a project on the side for you and anyone can kind of do it. Now, in terms of how beginner friendly it is, it's probably a 6.5. It's not too difficult to record these. All you need is like a stand and your phone. Any phone could potentially do this. And you basically need to find a good spot. And as you can see, you can basically use the same spot over and over again, and even kind of use the same videos. So 6.5 content creation, I'd say probably a seven just for the kind of whole process. In terms of using AI, I would say obviously you've got the voiceover and the text. So it's about a 6.5. And in terms of monetization, the good thing about these pages is that you can actually kind of, you know, be classed as an influencer. So, you know, the monetization aspect can be about 7.5 out of 10. You kind of get a bit of both worlds with, you know, kind of some of the theme page aspects of monetization and influencers. So it's kind of in between, you know, if this is something that is interesting to you, then definitely jump into it. But faceless motivational personal page could be the niche for you. The next minimalistic graphics. Now here we have a page called Go It Limitless, 520,000 followers. Now this is one of my favorite pages on Instagram or in the motivational niche and essentially they post very minimalistic motivational graphics, you know, so something like this. And essentially they do that majority of the time. Occasionally they post a motion graphics video, but this is what they're doing. So if you have any experience in kind of creating graphics or, you know, like conceptualizing, you know, motivational concepts, then this could be a great niche for you. You know, I think that they're monetizing now through selling a book and even doing a personal brand. But essentially, as you can see, most of the time in their history, they've just been posting single pictures or graphics with their kind of concepts. And, you know, they're not necessarily that, you know, complicated, like look at this, look at the caption, but it delivers a message. They've got really good branding. In terms of, you know, how good this is for a beginner, I'd say it's around five out of 10. You know, you still, will need some idea in terms of graphics design, etc. In terms of content creation, again, I'd say around five out of 10. And in terms of using AI, I'm not sure if there's any particular AI at the moment that can kind of like do this quickly for you. So I would say in terms of concept, it can help. Again, I'd say around five out of 10. In terms of monetization, I think these pages, if you do them really well, you can monetize them really well. So I would say between seven and 8.5 out of 10, I know it's a big, margin but 
depends on how you build the name, the brand, you know, and your your kind of ideas behind it. You know, they're selling basically concepts and a book. So, you know, I hope that they're doing well. It's definitely a great niche to get into. You can kind of do your own branding with different colors, etc. But if you like this style, then go for it. The next one is the chessboard motivation. Now, here we have Think Like a Boss.co, and they have 1.6 million followers. So as you can see, they literally have like a kind of concept, you know, where it's a chessboard, black, white, black, white, and kind of go through that. You know, their videos are not complicated. They're literally putting it as a reel, kind of with an audio on top. This page in particular, I think, appeals more to females, but essentially this is how it is. And, you know, for these types of pages, you need to just be consistent and relentless. And over time, it will start building and building. If you want quick wins, this is not the page for you. In terms of beginner friendly, I would say this is like 7.5 out of 10. It's not too difficult to start. In terms of creating content, again, 8, 8.5 out of 10. Using AI, you know, you can use AI for this. I'd say it's about 7.5. You're mostly going to probably use things like Canva. In terms of monetization, they are monetizing, I believe, through personal brand and also doing like podcast, etc. But I think, you know, there's, there is potential with this a bit less than some of the other ones. I would say this is probably about 7 out of 10, maybe 6.5, 7 out of 10. But if you do it smartly, you could probably do a lot more. I think if you start teaching people or training people that you do swipes as well, and then start promoting things out of the end of the swipe, that could be an option and increase, you know, your profitability. This is a good niche though, the chess grid niche. Black and white real niche. Now, this is obviously one of the most popular niches right now. And here we have Magna Virtute. Now, essentially, this niche is, you know, all black and white. And essentially, they focus around epic storytelling videos. So, for example, as you can see here, they kind of, you know, create content black and white, which is centered around a kind of epic voice. It's one of the most popular re niches right now. You know, there is other pages out there, more popular ones as well. And, you know, these pages can be really, really good in terms of, you know, how beginner friendly they are. You know, it's not the easiest to get into. I'd say it's probably a 5.5 out of 10 as it does involve, you know, decent level of content creation. So content creation around 5.5 as well. In terms of AI, it's the same as a lot of the video ones, you know, using the voice, you know, potentially the stories. I'd say it's probably maybe a six. In terms of monetization, you can do really well with this. As I said in a lot of the other ones, it's like, you know, if you do clothing, if you really concentrate on the brand, if you do physical products, if you build a concept that your audience, you know, wants. You know, this page is doing a course or something, which I'm guessing is probably Instagram related. And honestly, in my opinion, that is not the best way to monetize this. That's, you know, your audience is following you for motivational content. You are posting stories, you are posting, you know, stuff that is going to inspire people. You are not posting anything to do with Instagram. So why are you selling an Instagram product? You know, if you really built this page as a, you know, even an agency, anything like there's so much better ways to monetize these pages. And, you know, most people are just failing in that department. You know, I think when it comes to Instagram theme pages, you know, people often you have two types of people. You have like the people who really are creative and build crazy, good looking pages like this. But then they fail on the business side and go for easy options. Whereas the really best ones are the ones that optimize both business and understanding the audience and the creative side. So, you know, this is a really good page. Yeah. And in terms of monetization, yeah, again, I'd say it's 7.5, 8 out of 10. It's really about understanding your audience. You know, some of these could be 10 out of 10 if you really, really take time and build a product or focus around that. So black and white reels, heavy content niche. Okay, so the next one is the heavily edited podcast niche or motivational kind of page. This one is called Accelerate and essentially what they're doing is they've got the podcast and their content, but they do some, you know, really extra kind of editing, kind of filters, you know, the text, everything is a lot more aggressive in the style that they're kind of doing. And I think this particular kind of content, you know, the visuals that they're providing really, really can do well. And clearly for them, it's done well, you know, over 500,000 followers and over 300 posts. And obviously in terms of, you know, how beginner friendly it is, etc., it's not the easiest. I say it's a five, potentially in terms of, you know, creating the content, it's probably like a three, 
you know, because it can be a bit difficult to kind of build it all together. And in terms of AI, probably a six, as I think you can definitely get some assistance with AI. And in terms of monetization, I think you can really, really do well. So I would give this one definitely an eight in terms of monetization, probably maybe potentially 8.5. They do promos, they sell things, they motivate, they can build a brand. There's multiple things about this heavily edited podcast niche and building a brand with it. The next one is what I call the hybrid branding niche. Now, this is a really good niche, I think. Now, here we have Determined Hub, 226,000 followers. So they're obviously doing great. And essentially what they do is they post swipes and, you know, kind of podcast or motivational speeches. Now, what they're really focusing on is the branding. So they've got the colors, you know, that kind of match the, you know, the page. And it's really concentrating on kind of delivering that, you know, message, which is, you know, determined. And they're really focusing on a particular message, which is about determination, mentality, etc. So all of their content kind of falls under that. So, you know, when people follow this page, they know exactly what they're getting. And as you can see, like the whole page is essentially about that. And I think this is how you really do a motivational page. You know, you, you potentially pick aspects that are good. So podcasts, swipes, mash them together, turn it into heavily branded. And, you know, the potential is there. In terms of beginner friendly, I would say this is probably like a 5.5 as you do need to understand things about branding. You do need to hyper focus on a particular message. You will have a mixed variety of concepts. You've got swipes, you know, you've got the effects on the videos, etc. And in terms of using AI, probably a six as you know, it's not necessarily going to be the main component. But yeah, I mean, in terms of creating the content, again, it's a six as you are going to have to be balancing a few different things. But in terms of monetization, I would say that this is definitely more monetizable than just a simple podcast page as the addition of swipes. And if the swipes, as you can see here, are getting good likes, it means that you can do more promos. You can kind of add stuff at the end of the swipes. So these are definitely better. So I would say that this is probably like a 7.5 in terms of, you know, monetization. Potentially even later down the line, you can even turn this into a clothing brand, you know. So there is a lot of potential with this hybrid kind of model. So guys, this is a great example of, you know, really focusing on something and building a brand around your page rather than trying to just go for the kind of quick money. This is a good one. The next one is the motivational female niche. Now here we have vision of achievers. Now essentially what they do is similar to like Wi-Fi pages, motivational pages, but they are really, really focusing on the female demographic. Essentially, they're doing a mix of luxury, fashion, and empowering women. And as you can see, their grid kind of looks really, really good. There are bigger pages in this niche, but I thought I'd show you this one as the combination of stuff is, you know, clean. Now, in terms of, you know, monetizing this, there's obviously loads of different ways. I would say for this type of page, again, there are loads of different ways. I would say, you know, digital products, fashion affiliate links, plenty of different ways. I'd say for this is probably seven, eight out of 10. And in terms of, you know, creating content, obviously, you know, you need to have a passion for kind of this, you know, style of content or a vision or for luxury, you know, feminine stuff, etc. So I would say this is probably kind of a 6.5 out of 10. 6.5 out of 10 in terms of creating content as you still need to do videos, etc. But they're not complicated. You could easily use kind of Canva for it and repost, you know, just pictures like this one. In terms of AI, I'd say AI isn't like the greatest kind of useful thing for this. Probably a 5.5 out of 10. And in terms of beginner friendly, I would say it's probably mid-range around 6.10. Not the hardest, not the easiest, but it's around the mid-range. So, you know, with a bit of effort, you can definitely jump into this. So if you're interested in this one, then I definitely recommend going for it. It's one of the kind of more upcoming ones and a lot of potential. Remember, if you have any questions at any time throughout this video or want me to make more videos about a particular sub niche or how to create that style of content, let me know in the comment section and I can get planning. 
Guys, my name's Alex. I do offer one-on-one -on -one mentorship and do have a roadmap course available for anyone who wants real, real training on how to build a successful six-figure business online. My name's Alex. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe as this video is really, really going to help you understand where to start in your motivational journey. My name's Alex. Let's grow.